Welcome to Module 2, Part 3 of API 571. This is the first damage mechanism that you have to study for API 570 exam. The damage mechanism is erosion, erosion, corrosion. Erosion, erosion, corrosion. There are two damage mechanisms mentioned here. One is erosion and is erosion corrosion. We can separate it as two damage mechanisms for the time being. And we will consider the first one that is erosion. What is erosion? You may have heard of soil erosion. The same thing happens to the material also when the fluid is flowing through the or above the material. Now, open your code book and read the description of damage for erosion. From the erosion, from the description of the damage erosion, you can see two words. One is accelerated mechanical removal and the surface material. So, because of erosion, accelerated mechanical removal of surface material happens. And what mechanical action happens for this removal? One is the relative movement and second is the impact. Now, the next question is, what is the impacting medium? The impacting mediums are solid, liquid, vapor or a combination of the above. You can see that there is solid, liquid, vapor or a combination. Now there is no gas mentioned here. So the definition says erosion is the accelerated mechanical removal of surface material as a result of relative moment between or impact from solids, liquids, vapor or any combination thereof. Next is erosion corrosion. Here the corrosion as its erosion. How? Corrosion removes the protective films. Corrosion reacts with the metal and forms scales. And what happens? These scales or the protective films after corrosion will not get stick to the parent metal. So by erosion, these are all get washed away. Now, new materials are exposed for corrosion. Again, corrosion happens to this fresh material and that are again washed away by erosion. Through this cycle, erosion corrosion happens. Corrosion happens then erosion happens, the new material is exposed for corrosion and again the new material is again for the corrosion and this way erosion corrosion happens. Affected materials. What are the affected materials because of erosion, erosion corrosion? All metals, alloys and refractories are affected by the process of erosion corrosion. Please note that. This is the only mechanism where refractories are affected, on which refractories are meant. All metals are affected by some other mechanisms also. So the affected materials are all metals, alloys and refractories.
as we discussed the protective films gets removed or affected because of corrosion and uh, due to that corrosion the erosion also <coughs> happens if the corrosivity of the environment increases the stability of the protective films get reduced and thereby <coughs> metal losses increases how the surface material is getting removed that happens as dissolved ions or as solid corrosion products which are mechanically swept away from the surface as we discussed earlier there is no pure erosion so always there will be there is a assistance is getting from corrosion for the erosion normally there is no pure erosion in most cases corrosion and then erosion happens so one of the reasons for pure er erosion is the material is not so hard so we'll, if we increase the hardness of the material then the erosion will reduce but that is not always a good solution it is not always good to increase the hardness of metal substrate as protection against erosion why because corrosion as a erosion so normally there is no pure corrosion so always there will be some slight of corrosion for every erosion process that happens so it is not always a good practice to increase the hardness of metal substrate now as we said corrosion is a part corrosion is a supporting actor for erosion now the factors which increases corrosion also increases the erosion corrosion what are the factors that in, that increase corrosion like the temperature ph etc so the increase or the change in temperature what we can say we can say not say that it is particularly the increase of temperature the change in the temperature or change in the ph causes the metal losses due to erosion corrosion affected <coughs> units all types of uh, equipment exposed to moving fluids and or catalyst are subject to erosion and uh, erosion corrosion uh, one of the main points uh, in this is the piping systems downstream of flood down walls and block walls are affected by this erosion corrosion uh, as you uh, go through the damage mechanisms you can see a number of items which are affected by this erosion corrosion such as bends elbows tees reducers pipings measuring devices turbine blades nozzles etc etc these are all written another point which is given is uh, erosion can be caused by gas bond catalyst particles or by particles carried by a liquid such as a slurry so uh, it's, uh, the gas bond catalyst particles are also causes will also cause corrosion that is one of the uh, other point what is here yeah. uh, when you be go through the u the units that affects that uh, units that are affected by the erosion corrosion one is the hydro processing reactor effluent piping and uh, that is affected because of the presence of ammonium bisulfate that is one of the point that you have to remember that uh, hydro processing reactor effluent piping is affected by uh, ammonium bisulfate and uh, the crude and vacuum unit piping and vessels are exposed to uh, which are exposed to naphthenic acids are affected uh, by erosion corrosion and fccu due to catalyst movement uh, when the erosion is uh, concerned when erosion point is uh, when we consider the erosion point fccu units catalyst uh, handling area of fccu unit is one of the uh, one of the uh, best examples of what we can give it is uh, not only the fcc reactor but is a regenerator the catalyst handling equipment uh, are all affected by erosion uh, the other unit or other area is coca handling equipment area so uh, as a solid particles handling uh, uh, main areas in a refinery that is one is fccu and the other is uh, coke handling area that is to be remembered fccu and coke handling area are the two uh, areas where solid particles are handled and both the units are prone to uh, or uh, chances um, of having erosion this erosion corrosion uh, hydro processing uh, uh, reactor fluent piping is affected by 
ammonium sulfide and the crude and vacuum union piping is affected uh, to erosion corrosion uh, due to the presence of naphthenic acids uh, there is a uh, there are the points uh, units affected are uh, the main unit is fcu and the second is conic coca handling unit that is for erosion and for erosion corrosion it is hydroprocessing reactor effluent uh, piping and crude and vacuum units one is with the presence of ammonium uh, bisulfide and the other is one uh, other because of the presence of naphthenic acid appearance or morphology of damage erosion damage mechanism normally exhibits a directional pattern and as we said earlier this is a mechanical damage so the failures can occur in a very uh, relatively very short time and erosion corrosion are characterized, characterized by a localized loss in thickness in the form of pits grooves gullies waves rounded holes and valleys this is uh, the same and uh, are all uh, same as soil erosion but we can normally see so we can remember in that way that uh, uh, there will be pits, grooves, gullies, waves, rounded holes and valleys and these holes often exhibit a directional pattern. As these are all mechanical uh, failures, the failure can occur in a very relatively short Prevention mitigation. The best way to prevent the erosion is the improvement in the design. The next Best method is increasing substrate hardness. And the third method is using more chromium resistant alloys. The improvement in design can be uh, changes in shape, geometry, and material selection. These are one of the uh, points where some practical questions are asked. Like uh, uh, material is going through an 8 inch pipe. Now the erosion, um, severe erosion is happening. So what is the best method or what you can say the best mitigation method. So the best mitigation method is, it is to increase the diameter of the pipe so that the velocity will be reduced and the uh, erosion will be reduced. Uh, the examples, what are some examples are given uh, for the improvement design. One is increasing the pipe diameter to decrease velocity and the next, time, uh, next point is streamlining bends to reduce impingement and increasing the wall thickness and using replaceable impingement baffles. Uh, these four points are the uh, examples what are given in the improvements in design process. One is uh, one is a decrease in to increase the diameter and second is to streamline of pens and third is increasing the wall thickness and using replaceable impingement baffles. This uh, replacement impingement, impingement baffles are given in uh, heat exchangers. So that is to avoid the erosion of the tubes. Increasing the wall thickness what happens is uh, it will the material will last long because more thickness means uh, the cor if the corrosion occurs then also the material life will be more because of the increased thickness another thing is uh, increasing the substrate hardness uh, uh, that is uh, erosion resistant refractories in cyclones and uh, slide valves are very helpful and uh, this is to uh, this erosion resistant refractories um, in cyclones and slide valves are given uh, to improve the uh, erosion. Uh, erosion corrosion because the first part is corrosion so erosion corrosion uh, can be increased uh, can be better prevented by the use of a corrosion resistant alloys that is a, a simple point and uh, other point is uh, deaeration condensate injection uh, or the addition of uh, inhibitors to the product also uh, decrease the corrosion so that way also uh, we can reduce the erosion corrosion. So uh, these are the points which are given in the uh, prevention methods uh, for erosion corrosion. Uh, so we have to remember the increase in diameter is one of the possible ways and the impingement replaceable baffles what are given in heat exchangers are, uh, are to uh, prevent this erosion and uh, the substrating uh, increasing substrate hardness in that point of view uh, refractories in uh, cyclones and side walls are to increase the uh, resistance against erosion corrosion erosion sorry erosion and uh, this corrosion resistant alloys are given for uh, increasing the resistance against erosion corrosion now how it can be uh, monitored how it can be inspected the simplest thing is it is visual inspection only 
and uh, the second thing is uh, as we said earlier this is one of this is only damage mechanism what is uh, given as uh, damage mechanism for uh, refractory so ir scans can be used to dictate refractory loss so we cannot predict it anything the, the thing is when the refractory is gone at a particular uh, area area uh, the area becomes red hot and that can be used by ir scanners that is only thing that mainly happens in heaters and all so using ir scanners we can use uh, use to dictate refractory loss and other than that there are again ut checks and rt everything can be done because these are all what there is all uh, checking uh, by RT and UT, we can understand the thickness losses. So, one of the main points here in the inspection and monitoring is IR scans can be used in refractory, uh, dictated refractory loss on a stream. And uh, specialized corrosion coupons and online corrosion monitoring electrical assistance pros have been used in some applications. These are all very rare applications. So, uh, I don't feel it's a, it's a very important point uh, for erosion corrosion point of view. And uh, though uh, one is a visual inspection of the troublesome areas that can be done and uh, that is a secondary IR scans for refractories and uh, the related mechanisms uh, which are all given is one is cavitation uh, which you may have heard in pumps that is cavitation happens in pumps that is impeller is getting worn out because of uh, this cavitation and uh, second is liquid impingement corrosion and third is spreading uh, this can be asked as a point uh, in a multiple choice question that uh, what are not related to erosion corrosion so you can remember that uh, these are all the points which are related to erosion so that the, other, the fourth answer will be the fourth point will be fourth choice will be the wrong answer uh, so this is the end of module 2 uh, part 3 thank you